Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I'm here to give a response on what has been alleged by the U.S. Uh, government. Uh, first, I'm shocked. I'm even surprised why uh, this news uh, is just being released or coming yesterday after I've declared that I'm going to defend my uh, governorship uh, seat in Nairobi County government. I'm very surprised and I'm very shocked. And I think uh, the U.S. government has also not verified their facts because these are very misleading facts. Uh, neither myself nor my wife and my kids have been arraigned in court for any uh, corruption related to issues of tenders to them. My wife has never received a coin from the county uh, relating to any uh, tenders. My daughter, Saumu Mbubi, Sandra, Salma, they have never received a coin from the county for supplying any tender in the county. My wife has never even won any tender in the county. My children have never won any tender in the county. They've never even applied for any tender in the county during my reign or time as the governor of Nairobi City County. And another thing I wish also to tell the entire world, because all this is like world news, because it has, it has been released by the um, um, uh, by the U.S. Uh, government. It is true, I've been charged in court, but not with any offense related to issuance or giving out of tenders by the Nairobi City County government when I was uh, the governor. I was charged, or oh, I'm facing charges of money laundering and not giving out tenders to any of my proxies or my family. I'll give a good example there are some governors who are facing those charges alleged by the U.S. government. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know whether it's good to mention names, but since those particular charges are before a court of law, I'll mention names. Uh, I know to be wrong, they'll not feel good, those particular individuals I'm about to mention. For instance, a case like Migori County, where Governor Obada was a reigning court. These are all allegations. I'm not trying to accuse my former colleagues in any way. But Obado was charged with those particular offenses the U.S. government is alleging. The offense of uh, giving tenders to proxies. We saw Obado was charged with, alongside with his uh, relatives, I think sons and daughters. My friend in Kiambu, Governor Ochito, was charged alongside with uh, his wife, I think, and daughter. I've never been charged alongside my wife, Saumu, Sandra, Salma. So I'm wondering why the US government or where are they getting this fake news from? They should verify their uh, facts, they should verify their allegations. But I know where this is coming from. The US ambassador in Nairobi, his offices are in Gigiri. His good neighbors are my friend. I don't want to mention names. You know who is vying uh, in Nairobi County? There is one COVID billionaire who has swindled Kemsa. He has swindled Jack Ma uh, items for COVID-19. Uh, uh, so, may, so many Kenyans lost their lives because of this one uh, aspirant who is vying in Nairobi City County. And I want to repeat myself. Why all these allegations are coming just, after, just a day after I've declared my position that I'm going to defend for my governorship uh, seat in Nairobi City County. So I'll stand firm. I want um, uh, my children, uh, my wife to be strong. They are strong women and I'm, not, I'm, I'm very sure they're going to be strong during this uh, uh, difficult uh, moment. I know they are going to be vindicated because of this uh, fake news being circulated. We are used to this we call them character assassinations uh, tactics will never be diverted by these uh, fake stories and I want to tell the US government I'm a very small uh, uh, the former I'm a very small person 
before you are accusing me of corruption, I mean of drugs uh, related case, you are the same people who cleared me to go and give a speech in the United Nations General Assembly. I remember I gave a speech representing the African uh, mayors and uh, governors in, the, in, in New York. I even visited the uh, uh, offices, FBI offices, to allegations you gave before that I was a drug dealer. Now you have come with very fake new allegations that I have been issuing tenders to my family. These are untrue uh, statements, and I want to repeat myself. My wife has never even supplied a spoon to the county. She has not received even a coin from the county. So I'm wondering where are you getting this uh, news from? But I, I, I don't want to disclose so many things, but in the morning somebody called me and told me uh, the DP is in the U.S., Ebu, see what is happening. Why is he there? And these things are happening. But I know these were just games to make me start issuing uh, uh, maybe some 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 uh, statements against those of government officials who are in the U.S. and uh, want to be calm. And I also want my family, especially colleges. Forget about this nonsense. We are used. Uh, these are just fake news. We are used to this kind of uh, threats and intimidations. I think for now, but before even I finish, I remember very vividly when I took over office, my first month in office, the US government is just forgetting that there was a very big building just next to their offices overlooking their offices overlooking the United Nations offices which was posing as a major threat and uh, they wanted this building to be demolished during my predecessor's time I really stood with them during my time I ensured this building was brought down the owner of this building even approached me with a bribe of 100 million just here are the cost at my kind of my residence i think you the media guys who are there i refused to take the bribe of 100 million i invited the ESCC. they came and arrested the suspect the owner of the, that particular building with with with, with exhibits that is uh, money he was already in, in uh, mombasa high court i mean law court and the case is still pending so i can say corruption always fights back my cases are still in court the rule of law in kenya the constitution of kenya that is article 50 on the perception of innocence the bill of rights any accused person is presumed innocent until right now the u.s government is trying to convict me just by using mere allegations this one should stop and i'm appealing to the government of the u.s which is being led by President Biden to investigate the ambassador who is close friend to the COVID billionaire aspirant who is running in Nairobi County. He has his other partners there who own shares in KLM and Kenya Airways. These are non corrupt uh, individuals in this country. They've been fleecing cancer. I don't know if law, maybe law is applied selectively in Kenya and in the US. There are so many other people and, and so many powerful individuals. Uh, PSS, uh, my former colleagues, governors, suspects who are even in state house, who are facing corruption charges, they have not been arrested even today. According to the United States statement, it says that, and I quote, that uh, it's part of the U.S. Uh, support towards strengthening democratic institutions, institutions in Kenya by combating corruption. Do you believe in that? I don't believe in that, and, and, and if I should believe in that, then why is it applied selectively? All the avenues of appeal. It is true I was illegally impeached because I differed with the state over some issues, demolitions, and so many other issues, giving money to uh, a military 
I'm a principal politician. So I differed with the state over some issues. So that is what instigated my impeachment. And uh, I've accepted, I have moved on with life. I've started the business. I'm supporting my family with that small business which I'm doing. So I'm wondering why it's just a day after I've declared that I'm going to the only governor who is facing charges in court. There are even ministers who have been charged in court, PSs who have been charged in court. There are people who have been, the people who are, are, are being spared by the state. We have got so many files uh, with the ESCC and DCI, the Ruaraka file, where ministers are supposed to be arrested. The COVID billionaires file, we lost billions while Kenyans were dying. Kenyans are languishing in poverty. Yeah, guys stealing COVID, uh, masks from Jack, uh, Jack Ma Foundation. What has happened to them? Why is, it, is law applied selectively in Kenya? And the, the US government is supporting this. Yeah? This is impunity of the highest order. The US government is not supposed to support corruption. If they are really true, they are fighting corruption. Let us give uh, 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 their own in, in reports on COVID billionaires. Why are they uh, uh, being spared? Why? Why Sonko and his family? Why is someone his wife and children? Governor, what have I done to them? Governor Sonko, uh, would you say that uh, what could be a reflection on the fact that people think that all these things followed you the moment that you fell out of the president? No. Um, these things are normal in politics. There's no permanent enemy in, in politics. You saw how Raila used to insult our president. You saw how some politicians even used to, 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 to refer our president to as a dog. So there is nothing big, nothing wrong that I've done. I just differed with the states over very petty issues. For instance, I remember very vividly how I felt, uh, how we concerned with the states. I used to go for meetings in states. Nikiambiwa governor, there are some slums which have to be demolished. Yeah, we used to go for those meetings with somebody like uh, our CS Matiangi, internal security minister Kibicho. Uh, but I told them in front of the president, you actually say, look, these are the people who made me to become the governor of Nairobi. They used to support me when I was an MP. Senator, now the, as the governor of Nairobi, Article 40 is about, or if you want to acquire any property by way of uh, compulsory acquisition, you have to compensate those particular supporters because they are also Kenyans and they are protected by the constitution of, 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 of Kenya. You saw what I did in uh, Pangani when we were doing our county urban renewal. We called all the tenants, we had a sitting with them in the county offices, we compensated each tenant, a sum of Kenya shillings 600,000, we gave county trucks to get them to other places and then we made them to, be, to occupy the ground floor and the first floor. This is the Kenya we want. There is no way we can allow Kenyans to be uh, evicted in their houses, to be displaced like dogs or animals or pigs. So I differ with the state because of these small, small petty issues. So I was told just step aside, if you are scared, we are bringing uh, an, an, an organization that is going to deal with those particular issues. I was not told that a military guy is going to take over those particular functions which are executed in set house. So all these things which are happening now, these are character assassinations, tactics, smear campaigns, tactics. Yeah. So the law is very clear that I have to exhaust all avenues of appeal. I want to give you a very good example. When I was in, impeached, the IBC cleared Governor Waititu was impeached in Kiambu to be an independent candidate in Nairobi. Also, we saw the Sirisia MP, uh, I think, uh, Sirisia, I'm forgetting, Weluke, Honorable Weluke. He was sentenced to around, I think, 100 years imprisonment. He was slapped with a fine of over 700 million he never raised the fine but what happened he appealed against the sentence he got uh, bail pending his appeal he's back to his task he's the mp for Cilicia now he's vying posters are all over 
What it was impeached, it was cleared also to why. And also I remember I can give you there was there was a case in 2012-2013 by Katiba Institute Raila Odinga versus Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto. They were trying to bar the president and his deputy from contesting. What happened? The the, the matter was presided had by a three bench judge. Uh, the defendants won the case, that is Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto, they were cleared to vie. No Kenyan has gone to court to challenge this particular decision. Why should law change now because Sonko has declared that he wants to defend his seat? I was removed by the state, by the deep state, but not by the people. Let me go to the ballot, let the great people of Nairobi reject me, and not cartels. And after all this is said and done, are you still interested to go to the U.S.? Are you still interested? I'm not to interested to go to the U.S. To do what? I went there was when I was the governor. Even I have not applied to go to the U.S. I don't know why they issued that. I've never applied to go uh, to the U.S. Never again. Never again. I'll go. To, I'll go for to watch World Cup in Qatar or Dubai. What, what should I go to do? Uh, what should I go to the U.S.? I can go to China and do shopping there. What should I go to the U.S.? Let them deal with the Russia and put me, then let them leave me alone. Yeah. Just wondering now if any of the US departments or agencies has tried to reach out to you over these uh, accusations. I beg your pardon? Has there any of the US government nobody, agencies or departments? Nobody, tried? nobody. This is very wrong. Nobody even, nobody even has called. Governments does not work this way. They should have called me. There were similar allegations on drugs, remember, when I was an MP. I remember when I was, I was the uh, senator of Nairobi, I've, I've been visiting the U.S. Those, when those allegations were there. Even when I was the governor, I visited the U.S. so many times. I've, I've been to the U.S. with the president, I've been to the U.S. in my capacity as the governor of Nairobi. Yeah. I went there to represent all the mayors and governors of Africa in the uh, Food Security Conference. I was invited by the United Nations uh, uh, President, General Assembly's President. Yeah, so. I'm wondering why this news now, when I've declared to vie. So, the, the, the High Court, uh, I think on uh, last last Friday or last Wednesday, yes. held uh, the impeachment. Okay, it's not the High Court. I think they upheld Waititu's. The High Court upheld uh, uh, Waititu's impeachment, but my impeachment. I'm not losing hope. file a notice of uh, appeal at the Supreme Court. We are going to appeal against the Court, court of Appeals uh, decision. And you know, even if I'm guarded by the courts to make some statements of uh, some individuals or some judges, who still has his small political muscles, the national judiciary, how about other Kenyans? How about other poor Kenyans? Yeah. I don't want to mention names, but a judge, oh, maybe in make a court of appeal, Mfukoni, but you're a president of a court of appeal. All judges in Mwaka Mfuko. A judge calling you in his house and a kombia skiza by na wewe. There was no public participation in your case. There was no quorum in your case. So enter court of appeal, some ABCD. You see, where are we heading as a country? A judge who has been caught in camera Mchana, camera the NSIS and DCI Mchana saying his colleague has asked for a bribe of five million out of this five million he's making a commission of one million so we should ensure the five million goes to him where are we heading with sentiments i don't want to mention names because they've got uh, gagging orders against me yeah so there is no judiciary in kenya okay some judges are good we had hope in the new cj martha Cohen, but she has to deal with her, some, some of her judges. Okay. Finally, maybe from the, um, that statement released by the U.S. says that yes. the imposition of credible information that you receive by the form of kickbacks from uh, your associates in exchange for awarding of status. I was approached by certain individuals, tycoons, cartels, with 100 million, not to bring the, the building that was posting some threats to the embassy in Nairobi. 
to other international organizations in Nairobi, the United Nations. And I refused to take the bribe. I reported the matter to the ESCC. Those particular individuals were arrested. The buildings were brought down. I led that operation myself when I was the governor. So I don't know where they're getting this unverified reports from. I don't know where the US government is getting this unverified reports from. I think the government itself now must investigate this matter. The US government must investigate this matter. Yeah. So, governor. So, I'm to in three minutes. Not to delay. Yeah. Three minutes. Yeah. Three minutes. 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 Petana na shanga kwa sababu hizi poroje zinakuja masaa machache tu niliposema nataka kuwania wadhifa wangu wa ugavana Nairobi sababu mimi nasema ni deep state ndio imenitoa kwa uongozi si wananchi kwa hivyo nikasema lazima nitarudi kwa 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 debe wananchi wanikataa ndio nijue mimi nimekataliwa bali nisikataliwe na watu wawili watatu ambao wamekaa kwa meza wakikunywa chai ambao nimekataa kufanya mambo ile wao Nasema serikali ya Amerika hizi habari sio wamezitoa wapi kwa sababu kuna magavana wengi ambao wamestakiwa na kupeana kanarasi kwa familia zao watu wengi wa serikali wamestakiwa kwa na pole kwa governor wa bado na governor wachukua kutumia majina yenu but napeana mfano duniani watu waone wa bado wamestakiwa na watoto wake kotini kwa kupeana kandarasi kwa watoto na hizo ni allegations si semi bado wamefanya waititu wamestakiwa na bibi yake na mtoto nafikiri kwa kupeana kandarasi na pia ni kuwekelewa si hata amefanya kwa nini wanakuja na allegations za urogo kwangu si wanataka kuja na allegations za ukweli makosa na ya first mahakamani ni kosa la money laundering ambayo rafiki mmoja wawili walinekea milioni moja mbili kwa account ambazo sisi tulikuwa tunafanya biashara tofauti ambayo si mambo ya, ya tenda bibi yangu hajawepokea shilingi kutoka kwa account ya Nairobi mtoto wangu Saumu Sandra Salma hawajapokea pesa kutoka kwa serikali ya ya, ya Nairobi hawajafanya kazi hata ya kusupply kijiko ama kalamu kwa serikali ya Nairobi so hizi allegations za uongo a whole government ambao wameshindwa kupigana na Putin ambao ame displace wa Ukraine zaidi ya milioni moja ameua wa Ukraine watoto innocent zaidi ya laki tano mmuendea vile mlimuendea Saddam Hussein na Osama bin Laden mimi ni mtu mdogo sana kwa serikali ya Amerika. Na kama ni sheria za uamrika wanafuata kupigana na corruption. Tena kwa nini song kwa peke yake? Na bibi yake na watoto wake. Wapo wale makovid bilionea, wa mwingine wanafanya kazi state house. Kwa nini wao hawajaendewa na serikali ya Amerika ama na serikali ya Kenya? Wale wezi, mawaziri wa meiba kiwanja cha Ruaraka. Kwa nini wale hawajaendewa? Kwa nini mimi na watoto wangu? Watu wangapi wana face mastaka ya ufisadi Kenya? Hii ni siasa ama ni vita dhidi ya ufisadi? na juliza ile swali nauliza wa Kenya na dunia mzima kwa nini ni sheria gani inasema sonko peke yake why is law applied selectively in Kenya and the US why there are so many other governors who have been ambao wamestakiwa mahakamani kwa nini mimi na bibi yangu na watoto wangu kwa nini itokee siku moja nimesema nitaonia wadhifa wangu wa governor kwa nini so serikali ya ya waamerikani naomba mchunguze hata masada wenu ambaye ni rafiki ya wezi hapa Nairobi Rafiki ya wezi waliiba wakagawanya hakuna kitu wamefanywa. Hebu niulize wa Kenya, mmeona mfisadi yoyote ambaye ameitwa kwa jina la wizi la Covid bilionea ambaye amestakiwa mahakamani kufikia leo. Wanaenda tu yesisi kuandika ma statement wanarudi. Mafaili zinaangaliwa. Hii ni sonko ashtakiwe. Hii ni mwizi ashidiwe. We are heading nowhere as a country. We are heading nowhere as a